Welcome back guys, this is Benito and this is tutorial number 15. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to read data from Excel and plot it in a graph. So in the previous tutorial I showed you how to read data, in an ex uh, data from an Excel sheet and then display it in a table. So this time we'll use the data uh, to actually plot a graph. So let's open up App Designer. So this is the previous um, uh, app that we created in tutorial 14 and if we look at the code view you can see these are the functions that we used. So in this one what we're doing is um, in the first line we're reading the table using the read table function and we're saying it's book1.xlsx so it's reading book1.slsx so that's an excel sheet that I've created containing just x and y data so it's just x and then y squared uh, x squared uh, so this is the data that I'm reading in and this one, these two lines are basically defining uh, the column headers. So X data and Y data. And this line is updating the column headers. So what we can do is I'll just quickly show you, if you haven't seen my tutorial 14, how that works. So if we run the app and click on read data, it's X data and Y data. So you can see how that works. Now what we want to do is move this to one side and we'll make this smaller. And we would like to get this data and plot a graph with it. So we'll basically do a graph of y equals x squared. So we'll just change the title to y equals x squared. And we have x and y. Okay, so the code is a callback function within this particular button. So we'll right click and then go to the callback. So let's say you don't want to display the um, data inside the table. All you have to do is simply comment these lines out because we don't want to display the data in the table. So if you want to display it, then you can just add these lines in. Now, To plot the graph, it's very straightforward, pretty much three lines of code. All you have to say is, I'll say x is table to array, then brackets. The So you can see MATLAB is telling you what's the table input. So the data is read in as t. So we want the data to be t, but we have to specify what is the, uh, the column uh, containing the data that we want to be allocated to x. So we'll say x and then a colon and we'll say x here because in our Excel sheet the column uh, header is called x. So we'll say we want to select all the data from all the rows in the column x and Similarly, what we'll do is copy and paste this and we'll say Y and what we want to do is select all the rows of information from the column with the heading Y. So in typically what you do is you, you put the, so if you, let's say if you want to select the first row then you just put one, but if you want to select all the rows then you put the colon and Typically what you do in MATLAB is you define the rows and the columns in the second one, but in App Designer you have to design the variable, uh, which is the column header. So that's something that's different that you have to uh, just make sure you get it right. So, and one last thing is the table to array function. So the table to array function is uh, changing the table data into an array. So when you plot graphs, MATLAB looks for an array that it can take out and plot one against the other. So you always have to use the table to array function to plot a graph with a data that you read in from Excel sheet. So next what we can do is plot the graph. So simply type plot and then we want to type in what axes that we want to use. So this axis is called UI axis. So it's showing me already so I'll just select it and a comma and then we'll plot X and Y. End it with a semicolon and we'll click run and see how that works. So because we commented out um, 
these lines of code, we won't see anything in the table, but we should be able to see everything in the graph. So read data and you can see the graph of y equals x squared. So we've, we've got the data from 0 up to 20, so that's why we have um, that particular design. So let's add a grid onto this graph. So we'll just go to uh, the design view and then click on the graph and then you can see grids here. And then we'll do x grid, y grid. And run again. Read data and you can see how this works. We'll just uncomment the other lines of code as well. So if you highlight everything and then click on this button here, it basically uncomments everything that you've selected. And if you want to comment, then you can do the same. And there's some other indent options here as well. So if you want to shift this in, for example, then you can do this and then move it back and so on. So let's try and run this. You should be able to see the data in the table um, and also the graph. So click on read data. Okay, so it's showing me an error saying unrecognized table variable name x. So you probably guessed the reason why it's saying that and that's because we are overwriting the variable name, the column header with x data and y data. So what we can simply do is say we want the x data because we overwrote the, um, the name, the column headers. So we'll say y data and this should fix the problem. So let's click on read data and you can see everything works as normal. So this is a simple demonstration of how to read data into a table and then use it to plot a graph or do some calculations. So instead of plotting a graph, what you can you can you can pretty much do anything with it. You can you can say so you can say uh, d equals y y uh, element by element to the power of two and you know you can you can plot d as well and so on so you can do any types of calculations so if you're trying to you know uh, calculate uh, a result of an equation then you can read data from excel and do the calculation in app designer and display it on a plot for example so guys that's the end of my 15th tutorial i hope you have enjoyed this and learned something new um, if you have enjoyed it and learned something new then please let me know uh, with a like button and let me know if you have any questions through the comments or the discussion panel in my YouTube channel. See you next time.